This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Hi ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Denim Tools, the number one place where you can find all the insider information when it comes to Harbor Freight. We've been following them for oh seven, eight years now. And, and that's it, we're also the number one place to get the insider deep freight kind of insider information because we got the oh we're gonna spill the beans here we got a massive leak you're gonna want to get your chair you want to get some snacks get a drink pulled up take some notes even because we got a lot to go through before we jump into that let me tell you about my favorite video game and that is world of warships world of warships is a free-to-play game on pc and apparently also on console i don't know i'm not a console gamer but you know what it's been great on pc i've been playing it on and off for years one of the great things about it that keeps it fresh and exciting is they really new content every single month they have a ton of maps they have weather conditions the whole nine years but the it's the ships you always come back for the ships they have a ton of different countries to choose from each country's got a ton of different ships uh, and and even in those countries they've got different variations on all those ships but they have five base, basic classes if you want fast and frenetic and just high energy, you want to play a destroyer. Destroyers are where, where it's at. You're firing your guns, you're launching torpedoes, you're zipping in, zipping out kind of stuff. If you just want to sit back and duke it out and play it more like a game of chess, you want a battleship. You can just sit there and you can range all across the map with those things. That is, I do have a, I, I, I'm not really much for the destroyers. I do play a lot of battleships. But a lot of times, I just like a little bit of a mix of both, and that's when I go with the cruisers. The cruisers are they are faster than the battleships. They got more armor than the destroyers. They got more guns than the destroyers, but they, and they often have torpedoes as well. They kind of duke it out as well. A lot of great action in the cruisers. And then, now they also have subs and carriers. I'll be honest, though, it takes a special kind of breed to master those. As I said, I've been playing this game for years. I am truly excited about it. I was thrilled when they reached out to me. This month only, though, now, now, you can battle as Vic Rattlehead or Dave Mustaine. Yes, that Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. If you don't know who Megadeth is, well, I, I guess you're just not metal. Anyway, during registration, use the promo code Megadeth to receive a huge starter pack. It includes 200 doubloons, 500,000 credits, and seven days of premium account time. It also gives you Vic Rattlehead as a commander and a ship. Download your free-to-play copy of World of Warships now using the first link in the video description down below. Don't forget to use the promo code Megadeth, and I'll see you on the high seas. All right, first up on the list, we got a big one. We got the, now I, I'm saying, even the, my favorite to last, but this is a big one. It's the Harbor Freight Hercules 20 volt ultra torque cordless brushless impact in three quarters, not three eighths, not half inch, three quarters. This is the big boy. This one competes with like the Milwaukee here coming in here. Look at this. This is a $350. Now granted it's special buy with a free gift and sales and stuff do happen, but that this is not an inexpensive tool. This is a big, big, big powerful tool and they're bringing this thing in at two hundred dollars i'd love to see that happen now remember when you see this we see the information the only thing this one is missing is, is a picture if it had a picture i'd be like this thing's probably happening soon right now it's going to be down the pipe a little bit we got full information we got pricing everything else skew all of that we're just missing the picture it could happen soon but it again the picture is what really makes me know that this is something's going to happen right away Next up, we've got, look at this, the 2 amp plus the 5 amp hour battery with charge. This is a charger, battery charger kit. Two 5 amp, you get two batteries with the charger. Coming in, they're saying $129. Now, Milwaukee's selling that same thing for uh, $199, and that's on sale. That's special, that's 20% off. Uh, can you imagine what the price on this on sale is going to be? Can, man, you think they could do it for 100 bucks? That would be insane. Now, the thing is, we don't have any any description on this, so this could be a ways off. Also, I could have sworn I, I saw one for Bauer, like the 1.5 and the 3 amp hour with a kit with a charging kit. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I, I do know that Harbor Freight is trying to do more packaging and getting you more package deals. All right, next up, let's see, see, we got, look at this. I told you about this one. I told you before, 16-gallon wet-dry vac with cart. Okay, you're looking at $140 on this. 16 gallons, 6.5 peak horsepower. I love the handle on this on a big vacuum like that. Uh, usually, hopefully with this one, there's a bag on the back. You can throw all those accessories in. You got everything to go with you. It's got the two 360 casters up front. You got the big wheels in the back to get you over like rough terrain, like grass and dirt and stuff like that. Uh, really easy to move around. Makes it also less likely to get tipped over with wheels and stuff like that as you're dragging it along. I'm I'm excited about the Bauer vacuums. I, I tested one of the, I think it was the 
eight or 12, anyway, something in that range against the rigid, which the rigid was the gold standard. For the longest time, Rigid was the gold standard. I don't think so anymore. I, I think DeWalt is top of the line with Ridge or with Bauer coming in a solid uh, second place. And then I think maybe Craftsman and a few others, and then Rigid. I'm sorry. I know the Rigid boys are going to get all butthurt about it, but that's just the – I mean, just look at the numbers on it. That's just where it falls. All right, 20-volt – or sorry, not 20-volt, 80-volt backpack blower. This is going to be in the Atlas line. Uh, it looking at $200. Don't have a lot of details on it. Don't have a picture. This one's going to be a ways out there, but you know, looking at comps out there, Greenworks has their 80 volt here. This one, let me come in and $250 tool only. I think it's going to be a lot like this one. Um, then next up we've got, look at this 80 volt cordless power cutter. Now power cutter could mean a lot of things, but when we look at that price, $429, I mean, this is not like they're not like typing. You know, it's not typo on like a, a weed trimmer or something like that. The only thing I could speculate that this is going to be is going to be something like this one here from again from Greenworks. If I can minimize it, you can see it on the screen there. That is that that's like a commercial power cutter. Now, uh, that would be something entirely new for the Atlas line. Uh, a lot of times, though, here's the deal. Just to slow down, uh, you know, again, when we look at this. There, there's no details. There's no picture. There's not a lot there. This could just be. Sometimes they put placeholders on on the the system, and they're like, they're like, well, let's let's play a game of what if. All right, what if we did this? They'll run some simulations and stuff, try to figure out if it's going to be marketable in their stores. I don't know how many people are going to go for something like this because the Atlas line, it's a big line, unless maybe they're looking to push the Atlas towards value priced commercial. That would be pretty cool because I got to tell you, Harbor Freight is quickly becoming the place to not just get your budget tools, not just to get your awesome middle of the road tools, but I mean, with, with, with Icon to where they're at now with uh, Hercules, where it's getting to. And if Atlas jumps in there, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be looking at a store that is servicing, you know, top tier pros, as well as prosumers, as well as the bargain hunters. Next up, we got the 13-gallon, 1.5-horsepower high-flow dust collector. Now, this thing, and it's in the Bauer line, and it's $500. The only can, only thing I can think of is they're doing an upscale version of the Central Machinery high-flow dust collector. Maybe something with some HEPA in it or something. I don't know. But uh, 13 gallons, high-flow. It, it, and they even say something like it's got a four inch hose that it, it'll take large chips and stuff like that from joiners, which is great, which is fabulous. But at, at that price, $500, I think it's got to be an upscale version of this. Next up, this one blew me away when I saw this. Uh, the old agent Deep Freight and I were having a discussion. Can't believe this is happening. So pleased that it is. The 52-inch wood top workbench. Now, those of you who've been around the channel a long time know that I've got this workbench from Husky, and I've recommended it for years. It's a fan. It makes a great desk. It makes a great workbench. Imagine a workbench in your shop on wheels, on casters, rolling around. You crank the little handle. It goes up, goes down to whatever height you want. You're working on something down low because you have to get on top. You want some detail, you crank it up. Oh, you need an outfeed table for your table saw? Get it right to the right height. Lock those casters. you got all the outfeed in the world. That's fantastic. Talk about a versatile tool there. Coming in at, they're looking at $300, which honestly seems a bit steep to me. If we look over here, I mean, and this looks like it's going to be happening soon. We got, it's in the Yukon. I've been waiting for them to expand Yukon. Uh, it, it's got all the information in it. Uh, now the Husky one, they're 52 inches coming in at 279. Now, one thing I do want to point out for those of you who are like, Oh, I, I might want to use this as a desk. It'd be a cool desk, but I don't like having that bar in the center where my feet would go. Here's the deal. At least on the Husky, that bar is movable to the back. They have mounting points right back here. Let me get out of there. Come on. They have mounting points back here. Maybe there's another picture of it. Uh, does this one show it? No. Uh, but the, the bar is transitionable to put it, and they don't show it here, but they, uh, you, there's holes back here near the caster, so you can put that crossbar all the way back, giving you room to put your feet so you can also use it as a desk. Uh, I can't say enough about this. Uh, also, at least in the one I have, the crank, it pops in and out of that little socket really easy. It's a 10 millimeter, so you get a 10 millimeter bit, put it on the end of your drill, and now it's power desk. 
Let's keep going here. Quinn, sealed head ratchet, looking at a low profile 90 tooth soft grip coming in at 30 bucks. This is, I'm really excited to see this. They've got it in a three eighths. Uh, it's coming in a quarter inch. Uh, we saw this at least not the not the not the soft grip, but the new 90 tooth in these sets, and I think these master sets are a masterpiece. I think they're fantastic. They did say compared to Tecton, and I'll be honest, I'm I'm kind of a fanboy when it comes to Tecton, and and I I said I don't know if it's going to be as good as Tecton. I, I I'm gonna and I'm still in the wait and see camp, but they're all six point sockets. Uh, they're, they, they've got the 90 tooth ratchet. I, I haven't had a chance to try the ratchet, but if you look at the case in the setup, man, it, it looks, it looks nice. Okay. I can't wait to see this in person. And then we're going to compare it to some Tecton sockets and we'll find out. Cause if this, if this is hitting at the same level of Tecton, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Lifetime warranty right in, right? I mean, a Tecton has a great warranty. You take a picture, uh, you send it in three or four days later, you get a, uh, uh, sometimes two days depends on where you are. Uh, so you get a uh, you get a replacement, but you can walk into Harbor Freight get that replacement right now. Mm, that's gonna be a tough call. Let's keep going. We got the five eighths. Get this gold combination wrench. Gold combination wrench. So I I set my animators my or my my did my digital artists to work. Uh, and by digital artists I mean my AI. Uh, and this is the AI rendering. This is what they came up with. Uh, do not ask AI to render a wrench for you. It, it, I don't know what that is. It's interesting. Maybe we should try it. AI says it's good and it's gold. Said it was solid gold even. Let's keep going. No fun for that. Quick adjust pliers here. Let me zoom this in a little bit more here. So uh, we got we got a handful of these. This is the 12 inch S jaw. We got the 17 inch as well, and, and we got a 21 inch. These are coming in here, and these are all in the Icon line. We're seeing a lot more icon uh, hand tools beyond the sockets and ratchets, a lot more. Uh, we've got, look at this, we've got adjustable soft jaws in the Doyle, huge fan of the Doyle line. Uh, and soft jaws really have a place for you. To, if you don't know, that's when you're trying to work on something, but you don't want to mar the surface of what you're working on. Come on, you've all done it. You grabbed a hold of a pipe and you left teeth marks in it, right? Well, this is for working on more delicate stuff. All right, let's keep going. This is not for being delicate. This is a, a 3 8 drive metric bolt extractor set for Quinn. Now, if they're doing it at 3 8 we can expect half inch to be right behind it. Uh, unless, I don't think they're going to leave that just to icon. This is a nice set. You're looking, it's interesting though, because it's it's 8 through 19. There's a couple skips in there. Uh, it, it, let's see here. It does 8, skips 9, goes to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, skips 15, 16, 17, skips 18, goes to 19. But if you're looking, if you're getting real close, they've got the 13 and the 14 transposed in there. So $35 still. That, that is an interesting set. I'm I'm excited to see that one. This pistol grip duckbill pliers. First of all, I love duckbill pliers. They're, they're, they are underrated for a lot of uses that, that you can do with them. This is in the icon line. Uh, if you don't understand, you're grab, let's think if you're grabbing that from the bottom so that they're going forward. So you're going straight in to get, grab something, usually extract it, maybe compress something, take it off like a, a clip or something like that. They're really useful for that kind of thing. Uh, you're looking at $22 on that. Uh, next up, we've got uh, basically the same thing. Pistol grip and needle nose. No picture on this one. Looking at the same price on that. Okay, this is interesting. I saw this. I'm like, Harp Freight's been selling knives for years and years and years. Uh, everything I've got, usually somewhere around here, is one of the box cutter knives. Somebody ran off with it. Um, anyway, ton, tons of little knives. And they've had like the Rambo style knives and stuff like that. I saw this one. I'm like, looks like a cute little flipper kind of knife. And then I saw... I was like, oh, let me go back here. Uh, then I saw the, the name Icon. Icon. And then I looked at more at the details. Ceramic bearings. That means it's going to put it in this class at that price range at 50 bucks. It's in that class of what I consider to be the nicer uh, Amazon knives. It's not a truck station kind of knife or a gas station kind of knife. Uh, and it's not a, you know, it's not falling in into the... Uh, you know, the Benchmade, this is a $250 knife. This is more like, this is another one. This is Kubi. This is another uh, kind of, you know, Amazon style knife. Uh, but they're nice. They're smooth. They got the ceramic bearings in them. I'm a big fan of flippers. Uh, you know, here's one, the Civi. They're another big one that's up there on Amazon. $50 on that. 
they're coming in here 50 bucks and then some sales on it uh, it'd be really cool maybe there'll be a whole collection of icon knives that would be really awesome all right let's keep going router table now so the old router table went away I'm, I'm expecting this to be at that price and everything I'm expecting it's going to be, uh, in the Bauer name, a benchtop router table that, that, you know, that similar to the old central uh, machinery one that went away. I think it's going to look a lot like this. All right. This is, I think, exactly what we're going to get. And and for I, for one, am thrilled. I And I'm hoping it's as good as this one because this is a great little benchtop router table. It's got storage in the side. It's got a bunch of little features in it. It's got the nice little push button start and stop. It, it's a great router table. If we can get something even even you know as good as this i would be thrilled all right diagnostic scanner all right here we got icon icon not what's the z word or whatever the other one is this is icon i and this one threw me for a loop i'm like ours what, so what does this mean well the higher end uh scanners had gone away i think uh and here we got look at the price on this two thousand dollars this is not a scanner you're going to see me reviewing on this channel. I'm sorry. I'm, I am not the guy when you're talking about high-end professional scanners. I'm not the guy to go to. I'll be the first to tell you. You know, the, the middle range, lower end scanners, I can, I can demo those, show you around and stuff like that. On something like this, that, that's out of my league. $2,000. That is, again, this is what I keep telling you. Harbor Freight is coming after the tool trucks. Like, like with an armored, you know, Humvee kind of thing coming after the tool trucks. They are going to knock them for a loop. We got, if they're going to come up with high-end scanners and stuff, look at this. And this is not a joke. This is the subscription plan for that same scanner. You're looking at a thousand bucks a year, a thousand bucks a year. This is not going to be a DIY scanner. This is a serious pro scanner. All right, look at that. They're coming in with the Icon T7 Lite. It's coming in at $250. Maybe this is something I could take a look at here. Uh, and they've got light wired scan tool here. It's come, this one's coming in at $700. That's going to be a higher middle range, uh, bi-directional scanner. We've talked about stuff, not quite in that price range here, but, but getting up there, uh, 20 volt power cleaner. Now power cleaner, this is another one where I had to think about it. And I think what they mean is I think they're looking at something like this, these kind of like low power pressure washer kind of things, which is good. I mean, if you just need to wash the car, wash the dog, you know, get get some soot off the you know the outside of the chimney kind of stuff this is what you want I mean, you, you don't want to take a high power um you know pressure washer to like a chimney you'll you'll tear out the the mortar in there and stuff so something like this is better for washing it down windows it's great for windows and stuff like that um next up we got the brushless cordless left <laughs> the long one brushless cordless left rear handle cirque saw and i think we're looking it's in the bower line Looking at 150 bucks for this, I think what we're going to look at is something like this, and uh, I, and that would be exciting. I would, I, and I'm not even a fan of of uh, you know left saws like that. Uh, I I like the right facing saws myself. I'm a, I'm old school, but for a rear handle one like that, I will make an exception. All right, not exactly new or not leaked. It's been out. We've got the series three cabinets, the 72 inch, the 56 inch. Uh, we got the the 42s and I think the 26s or whatever the the, the smaller one is coming out. Uh, they're coming out later this year. End cabinets are later this year. End lockers later this year. I've heard everything's going to be out before the end of the year. Now whether it's I mean we're we're over halfway here. Whether it's actually going to happen, we're going to have to see. But so far so good. They've hit their their mark. That said, a lot of people were like, hey, the black looks cool, but I prefer the old school trim. Or what about something different? Well, we, we mentioned this before. Trim kits are coming out. All right. So we got the titanium or I'm sorry, this is the chrome trim kit for the 72 coming in at 120 bucks. Then we got the titanium trim kit. That's going to give you the kind of more gray brushed metal kind of look coming in for $150. All right. 20 volt cock gun. <laughs> if you've been around here, you know, I, I tease people about needing to have a cordless cock gun. But at 40 bucks, I don't know. It's probably something like the Ryobi. I don't know. Uh, the the Ryobi is coming in at, at $79. That'd be that'd be a heck of a, a score if you could get underneath Ryobi. It, it's in the Bauer line, right? It's Bauer. Bauer usually targets Ryobi and in that kind of line, but they've been they've been reaching a bit lately, going beyond that. Uh, here we got 20 volt brushless cordless 15 millimeter dual action polisher. This is going to be astounding if you can get a 20 volt dual action polisher that's less than an inch wide that would be amazing 
15 millimeters. I think they meant centimeters. I could be wrong. Maybe 15 millimeter polishers are a thing, guys. Is that, are they, maybe they're polishing diamonds? Is that what this is? A 20 volt? I don't know. I'm not in the polisher business. Uh, 170, 180 bucks. If, if, now I did look, I did like, hey, what if they meant centimeters? And that would come out to be about eight inches. And oh, look, there already is an eight inch, uh, uh, eight, or sorry, not eight inches, six inches, what I meant to say. Six inch forced rotation dual action polisher here. Basically, I think it's going to be the cordless version of this. I think they just, uh, somebody w was going a little fast and just entering. Again, there's no pictures, no deep details. It may be down the, down the pipe quite a bit there. Uh, next up, we've got the 20 volt brushless mud mixer. This is in Hercules here. Brushless mud mixer, five year warranty, $129. Uh, no picture, but I think what we're going to see is something akin to the uh, the Bauer here. Uh, I was honestly astounded to see Bauer come out with one of these. Uh, if anything, I would have thought this would have been a Hercules one to begin with, but uh, now you're going to have a choice in, in either way. There, you can get your mud mixer. Four inch chainsaw for Bauer. How about this? $69.99. Uh, again, this is one of these uh, mini saws is what you're looking at. Mini chainsaws. Uh, I, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. I don't know. I'd love to get my hands on one so I can compare a mini chainsaw versus a one hand reset. Uh, because I want to know, is the mini chainsaw worth it compared to just running a, a one hand reset? We'll do a race. Uh, if Bauer comes out with one soon, maybe we'll, we'll see what we can do there. Uh, Hercules, here we go. 20 volt cordless sheet sander. Now this, there's a lot of information here. Uh, no picture, $80, $90. Now my issue, now they do have a sheet sander. Oops, wrong way. They do have a sheet sander and this is a solid sheet sander. And I love the fact that it's corded because I think that corded sanders, uh, the, the runtime on them is extraordinary. If you're, and I always say, if you're going to go with a sander and you're going to go cordless, it needs to be brushless. I don't see anything here saying brushless. And it would be really sad if they came out with a sheet sander, quarter sheet sander in the Hercules line and didn't make it brushless. I would be bumped, but you know, we're going to wait and see at this moment. All right, next up 20 volt riveter. Of course, this is going to be Hercules, right? No, it's Bauer. Again, Bauer just doing the thing that I'm like, and this is weird, all right, because we're looking at this. There's no weight. There's no description, no information. This one is just them speculating, but I can't imagine that they would do a 20-volt riveter in Bauer because nobody else, you know, Ryobi doesn't have one. Skill doesn't have one. Porter Cable doesn't have No, No, no one is, again, I, I went the wrong way because I'm, I'm so in my head on this. It's got me so flustered. Like, you, you got to step up to a DeWalt brushless, all right, or something like that. You just don't see riveters in DIY prosumer brands. It's just not a thing, really. Um, I don't know. Would you, if, if you Bauer guys, are, are you sitting there going, you know what I really need? I need a riveter on the shelf. I mean, maybe you do. But for me, that seems like a Hercules tool all day long. Let's keep going. We got 20 volt, uh, or no, this one just is volt. It's volted. Brushless cordless angle grinder, die grinder. So Her Hercules already has the die grinder, right? And this is an angled die grinder. Now the question is, are they going to go, because it doesn't say, it, it doesn't say brushless. Or yeah, it does. It says brushless up, it doesn't say brushless down there. It doesn't say whether it's 20 volt or 12 volt. There are brushless 12 volt tools. Are they going after the Milwaukee? I, I But the Milwaukee is pretty pricey. So when I see this price, $89, I'm thinking they're more going after the Ryobi kind of brush, which is fine. I, it's a great, it's a powerful die grinder. It's a good die grinder. It's in the HP. It's brushless. If you're in the Ryobi line and you need a die grinder, don't even think twice about it. That's a great die grinder to get. Uh, next up, soldering 40 volt, uh, 40 watt, excuse me, soldering iron uh, in the Bauer. Uh, and you're looking at $40 on that. I think this is going to be something like this. We also saw that there's going to be a rotary tool coming out. Uh, and I think it's going to be similar. It kind of sticks on, on the battery pack. And I love them. I, I've got one from Hart. It's fantastic. Uh, I would be more than happy to buy something like this for uh, uh, in the in the Bauer line because for soldering, be able to move it around the shop and I have to plug in and stuff. Uh, next up, brushless compact bandsaw. Now, if let me zoom back out. I'm going to give you a first look here because I haven't released the video on it yet. But it's around here somewhere. There it is. She's sitting back here on the ATV. 
This is the brushless 20 volt, but this is not a compact. This is a this is a big bandsaw. It's it's not lightweight. So I think what we're gonna see is we're gonna see a compact version of this. Now, again, stay. Again, the uh, and for those of you who saw that earlier, kudos to you. But uh, 100, 140 bucks, and I think what we're going to see here is that they're going to take a wait and see to see how that does. If that flies off store shelves and there's an outcry going, hey, this is great, but we want the compact one. A lot of plumbers, guys, stuff like that, cutting pipe. Um, I could definitely see it come out. Maybe it'll come out anyway, but we're not seeing a picture here. We're not seeing much in the way of description. Shipping weight, one pound. Yeah, they've even looked at fill, figuring, uh, filling in the description on this. So if it is going to happen, my guess is it's down the road a ways. Next up, magnetic tool mat, okay? This is uh, not much information. It's in the Icon brand. Uh, so it, it's, it, you know, $25, a little accessory mat. You can throw stuff on. Things will stick to when you're working. Next up, uh, after that, we've got, now this one was, this next one threw me for a loop. Tool cart protective mat. I don't know if this is a replacement. Custom trim to fit, designed to work with both U.S. General 4 and 5 drawer carts. Mat stays securely placed even with your lid open. So this is going on top. Now, I've seen people using, there is, I think it's Rubbermaid. Uh, is it Rubbermaid or is it, there's that other company that makes floor mats that makes something that goes underneath your kitchen sink the guys have been using on top of it but you're looking at $25 and I think what we're going to see is something along the lines of this where it's it it goes on top of your of your cart so when you lift it up uh, it stays there when you put it down you can put stuff on it and won't damage the top of your cart again wouldn't be an issue if Harbor Freight made a butterfly style sliding cart top that I've been asking for for years and so have other people who just recently reached out and said, hey, can you ask him? I've been asking. Pestering would be the word, honestly. <laughs> All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. 1,000 watt, or not 1,000, 10,000, 10,000 watt, tri-fuel, super quiet, inverter generator, CO secure. You know darn well, we got no price on it. We got nothing on it. But I did hear end of the year for multi-fuel. We already got one. This is, in essence, the upgrade. Well, I keep going backwards there. The upgrade to this one. I have this generator in the shop. And if you didn't see, I did a video on the AI Volt, which shares the same chassis, but at different internals. All right, The chassis gets sold to a bunch of different people. Don't worry about the chassis. I mean, just as long as you like the chassis, and I do. Four-wheel roller. It's got the wheelbarrow-style handles. It's a good chassis. It's got a, you know the protective frame design, all of that. But this is 9,500 uh, watt, super quiet inverter, CO secure, but it's single fuel. It, it doesn't have, it does have electric start. It's got pull start, but it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have the multi-fuel and it doesn't have the remote start. Now the other one did say remote start, but they, the late last one has it. And I can't imagine them not doing it. If, if they come out with one that's like the AI Volt that I have, because I have this and the AI Volt. I'm working on a video comparing the two so you can see them. Uh, but the, uh, oh my gosh, that that is a home run. Tri-fuel, if, if I could hook it up to my house and run natural gas through it, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have, and I just, I just, I sold like two years ago or longer. I bought the 9,000 open frame. Then they came out with this. So I had the extended service plan, so I returned it and upgraded to this one. But now they're going to come out with an even better one. Oh, my gosh. Upgrade time again. All right. And then look at this. 12,000 watt. 8,000 running. Tri-fuel portable generator coming at $1,300. Uh, running off the Predator engines. The Predator engines are fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, and the, the, I think it's the only thing I can think it's going to compare to is the Westinghouse. We've talked about the Westinghouse here. We've had it on deals on the week, uh, a whole bunch. Look at the, the specs on this. You're getting the, the tri fuel there. Uh, the, uh, but again, the pay attention. This is not super quiet. This is not an inverter generator. This is not fully enclosed. I got a little hyped up when I saw it first. I was like a super quiet 12,000. Oh my gosh. Cause nobody goes that high in the super quiets. All right, I, I 1,000 or I think, uh, I keep saying 1,000, 10,000. I think the biggest I've seen is 1050, uh, 10,500. 
uh, is the biggest in the super quiets. But, uh, but still, if you need power, if you need a lot of power, that's a great way to do it right there. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. All right, and now we got some new tools that have been released on the website. You can go check, check them out right now. Bauer 6.5 amp, ha half inch variable speed drill. This is a must have for any shop. I don't care whether you buy this one or another brand or you go to Home Depot or Menards or you go overseas. I don't care. Every shop needs a variable speed drill, quarter drill, just like this. It's a staple. All right, and if you don't have one, you shop at Harbor Freight, 35 bucks. It's hard to beat. Uh, and uh, anyway, it, again, it's a staple. It's a must have. Next up, we got the shears. Talk about something I didn't believe was coming out anytime soon. The shears, that just blew me away. Uh, there's supposed to be a nibbler coming out soon as well. But uh, 18 gauge double cut just hit. Uh, next up, we got the, the deep cut bandsaw I just showed you, $129. Again, brushless means five year limited warranty on it. Uh, they've got the corded bandsaw. That one's out for $169. The great thing about this is now that I got the cordless. My, my, uh, my, it's on Bauer. It's the old central machinery one or Chicago electric one. Uh, is it, I, never, I think it's that one. I don't think it's the Bauer. Anyway, point is if you saw my, uh, my video about putting it in, in the upright in the horizontal, uh, cutter there that it, it's going to live there now. I don't have to take it in and out. I got this one now and uh, I'm more than happy with that setup. Uh, and then this, uh, the grinders, we talked about the new grinders. If you haven't seen my video, I did a video on the eight inch grinder, so I'm not going to dwell on it. Go check that out. Uh, and then the polisher there, we got this, this is the seven inch variable speed rotary polisher there coming in $80. Uh, I got a video out on this. If you haven't seen it. It's the thickness planer. Just recapping for people who may not have been following along. I don't know where you guys have been. Corded circ saw coming in a hundred bucks. Uh, let's see here. Oh, new stuff coming in for Bauer. Uh, the Bauer brushes, I got that. It's right over there. Um, and then also look at this extended anvil impact that means it's going to be very similar to the hercules extended anvil impact here so uh that's if, if you haven't seen the brushless impact for bauer it's phenomenal uh it is it, it's not as powerful as the ultra torque but it i mean for for home gamers nah, it's more than enough power belt sander rotary tool that's the one i was talking about brushless hammer drill ratchet the ratchet is coming soon folks i've seen pictures of it it's got to be just around the corner. Also, I want to say a huge shout out, a huge thank you to World of Warships. Don't forget that you can play as Megadeth uh, right now. You can jump in there. And really, I have been playing World of Warship for years. Uh, just, uh, just, I mean, almost uh, is it eight, ten years. It was a long time I've been playing World of Warships. And I absolutely love the game. I, I, I'll be honest, I walk away for a while. I come back. I walk away. I come back. And it's always fresh and it's always fun and I always enjoy it. So uh, I got my, my contact information down below if you want to join they've got the coupon down below you can click on the link it's right down there and then my name's there you can hit me up in in uh, in game we can set up a a division and see if we can blow some stuff up together anyway that's all i got for you today you all take care god bless and as always shine on